So sample spaces are really handy because they give us ways to visualize all of our different outcomes. So there's three different styles generally of sample spaces that we can use. And one is an organized list, another's a 2D grid, and another's a tree diagram. So if I toss two coins at the same time, well, let's just think about this first. Two coins at the same time, I could get two heads. I could get heads and tails, or tails and heads, if my coins, if I can differentiate between them, or I could get two tails. So when I make a list, I'm gonna do this similarly to our true false table. So remember how we had true, true, false, false, and then true, false, true, false? I'm gonna do that with my heads and tails. So I'll do heads, heads, tails, tails, and then heads, tails, heads, tails. So notice this gives me my four outcomes. So I could get heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. With a 2D grid, I'm thinking about my two different options, so or my two different coins. So on one side, I'm gonna put my first coin, could either have heads or tails. My second coin will also either have heads or tails. So now if I envision this as a grid, I have four different areas of my grid. So I could fill in and actually turn this into like a table. And now this area here represents heads, heads. This area here represents heads, tails. Over here, I've got tails, heads. And over here, I have tails, tails. So again, my four outcomes. When I use a tree diagram, I set up a pair of branches for every possibility. So the first thing I have is my first coin. So this pair of branches is for my first coin. And I could either get heads or tails. For my second coin, after I get heads with the first coin, I could get heads or tails with the second coin. If I get tails on the first coin, I could still get heads or tails on the second coin. And now to see my outcomes here, I follow the paths of the branches. So I could get heads and heads. I could get heads and tails. I could get tails, then heads, or I could get tails, then tails. So each of these three options shows us our four possibilities. And we'll pick which one we use depending on the scenario.